Alright guys, picking up right where we left off. What is it? Um, the door won't open. Of course not. The area past here is restricted. You can't enter without permission. We were told to deliver this data to the test subject management wing. ID, please. Here. Confirmed. I'll release the lock. Hurry through. Chief, look! <gasps> what is it now? What's that image? Hmm? Hey, what's that display showing? That's the surveillance camera for the isolated underground research wing. What about it? Oh, nothing. It just caught my eye, that's all. That place isn't something you need to worry about. Just get back to your posts. I'm sorry. Chief, that was a vessel of anima. Yes, there's no mistaking it. They're conducting experiments here to connect vessels of anima and the Zohar. I'm not too sure which room is actually his, and I'm kind of hoping I don't find it before I can kind of explore everything else. It doesn't look like there's anything worthwhile in here, though. I'm pretty sure all the federal reports are outside of these areas. They're either in... Um, like the actual city of Milsha, or... I think there was one that was in, or maybe two that are in the old transport area. Hello. Basically, they're telling you you're going to have to come back here eventually. Excuse us. We've brought the data. Uh, set it down there. D dad We're pressed for time. What's the status of the link with Fibronia? Values on the test subject side aren't stable. Fibronia probably hasn't fully recovered yet. Some amount of stress is acceptable. We'll continue the experiment. Mom! You there. 
forward the analysis data log. I want to confirm the error in sequence 306. What is this? Mom is being used in an experiment? What's wrong? Hurry up and confirm the data. Isn't she a member of your family? Hmm? What kind of experiment is this? How can you use a member of your family as a test subject? She's cheap! I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the atrocity of using a member of your own family as a test subject. And not just her. How many others have you people done this to? They're here because it's necessary. That's all there is to it. How is it necessary? Have you even studied this personal data? It's clear that they're suffering subconsciously. How can you use the sick and injured like this? Nonsense. That's just an issue with the numbers. You merely see what you want to see. She doesn't feel anything. She doesn't say anything. This is nothing more than peripheral nerve reflexes. You're just distorting the truth to rationalize what you're doing. What? You're the one who's distorting things. To begin with, since when does a mere staff member like you have the right to criticize this project? Know your place. <sighs> Shion, how many times do I have to tell you you need permission to come here? Oh, but I'm worried about Mom's sickness. Today isn't a visitation day. You know that. Now hurry home. Leave Mom to us. But... Shion. I'll escort her out. You? Yes. I'm sorry for how I acted. I'm fatigued and a little emotional right now. Hmm. I see. Yes, please take care of her. Come on, Xi'an. Let's go home. I'm sure your mom will get better soon. See all these doctors with her? Yeah. Um, your house is in block B-32, right? What's wrong? I don't want to go home yet. But your dad's going to be busy with work until late. The soldier. Soldier? I want to visit the hurt soldier. Oh, you want to go to the church? Yeah, I'm going to bring him flowers. I see. Okay, let's go. Follow me. There's flowers in the garden outside. Pretty sure I hit everywhere I can at this point, so... They're pretty. Did you grow these yourself? Yeah! Beb gave me seeds! You know what? I'm gonna grow tons and tons more flowers and make Mom happy! Yes, I'm sure she'll like that. Now, shall we bring some flowers to the soldier? Yeah! Are you slacking off at your job and playing babysitter now? Mr. Winnicott. This is part of my job. Oh, excuse me. Still, I'm surprised to see people leisurely planting gardens in the middle of a war. 
It's at times like this when we need them the most. Is there something wrong with engaging in productive activity to counter the unnatural destruction of war? Placing one against another and fighting is a defining aspect of human beings. Resisting it is unnatural. Your name is Kevin Winnicott, correct? You're a strange woman. Is my name that unusual? Are you really Kevin? Come on, let's go! Oh, right. Let's go to the church. Excuse us. Shion, wait, where are you going? This is a shortcut. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Come on! Right. You're recovering smoothly. But you should stay in bed for a while longer. Like I needed your help. Who the hell are you people? You aren't you, Tick, and you aren't Federation. But you act damn suspicious for mere civilians. I told you you need to get some rest. We can't reveal who we are for various reasons. But we aren't your enemy. There's no need for you to cause yourself unnecessary stress. Xion? What? Y yeah. I brought Xion. Oh, right. Uh, what brings you here? Um, here. W what? Flowers? For me? Yeah, they bloomed real pretty. It's so you'll get well. What? You've got to be kidding. I don't need them. You won't take them? Uh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. I hope you get better soon. Damn it. This isn't me. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm sorry. It's just you look so different from when we first met. Well, excuse me for looking silly holding some flowers. Not at all. You look good with them. Damn it. Sounds like you're having fun. Deb! Fibronia. I'm glad you recovered. Don't come any closer to me, Reallian. Virgil? That's a Utic Reallian. Do you know how many of my comrades have died because of them? Virgil, stop it. She saved your life. I didn't ask for that. It makes me sick, thinking I've got a part of you in me. If I could move right now, I'd kill myself. Virgil, that's enough! This is none of your business. Please don't say such sad things. Everyone worked so hard to save your life. Please don't speak so lightly about throwing it away. What would a Reallian know about the value of human life? It's true that I'm a Reallian. We were created to serve human beings. My sisters are going through painful experiments for that purpose. But I feel no hatred for human beings, because it is the proof that we exist. Give me a break. A proof you exist? That's just how you've been programmed. It's fine if you feel that way. But my feelings right now are more than just a program. Huh? Your feelings? I want you to live. I'm starting to feel sick. I'm gonna sleep. Feb! We would never want people to suffer. I know. We'll come to understand each other someday.
Let's pray now, Xion. What are you gonna pray for, Feb? For my dear sisters. Please grant them a wonderful future. I see. Will I get to play with Cecily and Kath again? Yes. They're both looking forward to seeing you again. What are you going to pray for? For Mom to get better soon. And for the soldier to get better too. That's a good idea. Let's pray together. Xion, let's go. Jin? Losing control of realiums is an ingenious plan. A Trojan horse planted by their leader. It's an amusing scenario, though not a particularly flashy one. It was Winnicott's idea to make Mizrahi into a scapegoat. He's quite the tactician for his age. Did you hear that the transport carrying calibrated realians was attacked by the Federation? No, we just lost a few realian units. It won't affect the project. Although I am concerned about the Federation's next move. We know all the details of their descent operation. We'll be able to buy time until our VIPs are able to retreat. Good. So have you deciphered the Y data? No. I've found some file fragments. But he won't tell us a thing about it. I've got Winnicott trying to get some information from him, but who knows how it'll go. As long as the Zohar activation succeeds, we can deal with the rest later. What's the plan? We'll pick you and the others up along with the Zohar. I won't hold my breath. If it comes down to it, I can lift the whole song of Nephilim into space. Save the game? So I thought we at least got the Voyager fight in that chapter. We got nothing. Oh good, you ate it. Did you like it? You look like you'll be well enough to go outside soon. That kid's not here today? Is she on? She went to pick flowers. Oh. You mind if I ask you something? I'll do my best to answer. Why did you save me? I'm your enemy. I guess you are. But that has nothing to do with me. I just wanted to save you. I didn't care about anything else. That doesn't make sense. I came to this planet to dispose of you realians. You could be executed for saving me. All that mattered to me was saving you. I don't understand that at all. Is it really that strange to want to save someone's life? I've been ordered to kill realians. To a soldier, orders are absolute. There's nothing more important than life. Isn't that true for both soldiers and realians? I want you to live, and because of it, we are here, together. Why don't you get some sleep? You need to regain your strength. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. The food was delicious. I'm glad you liked it. I'm impressed they can grow in a place like this. Guess they haven't died yet. No, they won't die. I water them every single day and give them fertilizer. Oh, I see. Well, there's no guarantee that they won't die in the future. I don't understand it. Why did you want to plant them here? 
You could have planted them in the flower bed in the rear garden. Because that's too far away from Mom's room. This is closer to her room. And that way, Daddy can see them too. I can't really see Supervisor Uzuki having any interest in flowers. Yeah. <sighs> Listen. You need to understand how the world works. For humans to live, we have to conquer and destroy and eat other organisms. That's the most basic function of an organic being. I'm sorry, Xi'an, but there's no point to what you're doing. But that's not true. When pretty flowers are in bloom, they make everyone feel happier. Even my daddy. I wouldn't bet on that. Even Feb said so. And that's why I planted them here. Huh. I don't get it, but if you say so... Hey, if you're gonna just sit there, then give me a hand. What are those flowers over there? What? Why should I have to do that? Because you aren't doing anything. Stop complaining and help. Go on, do it. Hey, hey, quit it. Ah, ah that's cold. This is all your fault. <laughs> You're all wet. <laughs> this just isn't my day. Well, what do you want me to do? Why are the flowers there? Oh, and this one, too. Not like that. You have to be more careful. Otherwise, you'll hurt them. How can I hurt them? They're just flowers. No, here. Give it to me. I'll show you how. Huh? Coming. Here. Make sure you water them, okay? What? But, hey! Ugh, fine, whatever. Wow, so this is Cosmos' basic theory? Hmm, these are some excellent calculations. Well, how about it? Is it possible to fix Cosmos? Beats me. What? With this data you brought back, and the newly designed body, it is possible to restore her to her original form. Then... But even so, there's still too many parts we don't understand. Even if the repairs are perfect, we don't know if she'll reboot or not. She's completely different from Erde Kaiser, the field in which we specialize. Indeed. This thing doesn't even transform, much less combine. What the... That's not the problem. Did you say something? Oh, uh, nothing. Anyway, we'll do what we can. <laughs> After all, I don't get many chances to play around with this baby. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> Chief, are you sure about this? If we leave it up to them, they may make things even worse. Hey, I heard that, you! When it comes to robotics, I don't make mistakes. Sit back and leave it to me. Now, all you people here are in the way. Get out! Shoo! Why don't you try out the latest game in the lounge? We modified it a little, so I think you'll enjoy it. Really? Well, I guess it might be nice to relax a little. Let's check it out, Xion. Sounds good. I'll go with you, too. Wait. You stay here, assistant number two. Huh? What did you expect? You're my temporary assistant. Don't tell me you're already planning on taking a break. Right then. Let's get to it, Alan.
So part of me is thinking I should be updating for this. And part of me is thinking, wait, just one more battle. I never did figure out if that's the Erde Kaiser he's talking about or if it's uh I wanna say Omega Universities Universities hmm. And we have acquired the Erde Kaiser. You won't see me using that skill very often. I tend to stay away from the Erde Kaisers. When I actually get them all, I'll read them all. So as far as this Hawkox minigame goes, I won't be going nuts on it. I'll do like one, probably the first one. And then that's it. To be honest, I'm not even sure if you have to do one, but... You know what, maybe I will update my characters because this is starting to kind of look like stuff that I should be buying. You know, we're going from 12 and 13 to 21 and 21, so that's not a terrible jump. Thank you. 
You know, honestly, outside of increasing your brake limit gauges, none of this stuff really looks that good, so I'm good with the money that I've spent. I do end up needing some extra cash later. I know where I'm going to go, so... So the Hack Ox game shouldn't be too long, because like I said, I'm just going to do one level and then walk away. At some point I will go through the first five levels, but I'll definitely do that off camera. One of these gives out, I think one of these gives out Ziggy's swimsuit. I know level five gives out Junior's um, best weapon. Ironically enough, if you can get good enough to unlock level five early enough, you can actually get Junior's before everyone else's. Almost everybody requires you to be at chapter nine to be able to go and even get their ultimate weapon. Junior's, I'm pretty sure, can be done in chapter eight, so... Yeah, 
There we go, hopefully that was enough. That was actually pretty fun. Those two did a good job for a change. How do you feel? Do you feel relaxed? Yes, I'm sorry. I guess I've been worrying everyone. Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? When stuff happens, don't hesitate to tell us. Thanks. I'm gonna go rest a bit in my room. If anything happens, give me a call. Sure thing. Professor, I finished attaching the exterior. Okay, we're going to try rebooting her. Assistant number two! Yeah, yeah. Come on, Cosmos. It's time to wake up. It didn't work! Uh, that's strange. With the data she brought back, the core repair should be flawless. Where could the problem be? Professor, it's gotta be that. Oh yeah, <laughs> that. Love and courage. Yeah, love and courage. No, I'm pretty sure the problem lies with you two. Hey, assistant number two. You, yes? What are you standing around for? Hurry up and bring your lady friend. I want to hear the opinion of a specialist. Hey, I'm a specialist in the same field. Do you expect me to rely on your opinions? Hurry up and call her. Fine, fine. <laughs> Professor, the reactor output is unstable. Maybe we needed those parts you had left over. Don't worry about little things like that. It's probably just a gauge malfunctioning. Just hit it. I know what is going to happen already. The coming events will bring suffering to countless lives, and it will leave a permanent scar on the universe. But I alone may have a chance to change everything. Cosmos, what would you do? Would you chastise me for being illogical? Just like you always do? Cosmos, would you abandon countless lives before you? Simply because it's the logical thing to do? Yes? It's me, Alan. Sorry. Have you got a minute? Sure. What is it? Thanks. What? What is it? Hurry up. I'm gonna catch cold. Uh, um, yeah, uh, I mean, uh, um, the, the professor. What about the professor? Uh, rebooting Cosmos isn't working. And he says he wants your opinion. I see. Okay, I'll be right. What? Chief! Chief, are you all right? Chief! Where's the explosion? In Cosmos's maintenance room. What are you doing? Hurry up! Wait up, Chief! Yeah! Ah! 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 
brown ditch. I am an old man, for heaven's sake. I tell you, young people these days have no manners. Uh, Professor, violent criminals don't care about manners. Hey, hey, hey! Who the hell did this to our Elsa? Captain, leave this to the little master and me. Just take care of Scott and the professor. Uh, 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 Damn it! How the hell did he get in here? Adam, what happened with the security? I wish I knew. The security system is just fine. A fly couldn't get into this place. It isn't anyone's fault. This guy is a monster. Tony, fall back. You can't do anything about that monster. Out of the way. But, old oh man! Don't worry. I'm perfectly calm right now. Voyager, why are you here? What is your objective? Shion, I will need your assistance in defeating the enemy unit. Right. I understand. Come on, Cosmos. Acknowledged. Engaging with maximum attack force. I love how Momo had to bring down Shion's weapon. <laughs> Wow, it's a cold day in hell when Cosmos has the lowest HP of everybody there. Ether Drive! Sorry, I'm trying to think of what the best plan of attack is here.
have equipped her swimsuit, would have that extra luck. Christ, really? so bad actually. Right. We'll see if this turns out to be a good move or not. Still ineffective, probably should have seen that one coming, but... Ha ha ha! 
take this. Part of me is thinking I should use Chaos as special attack. <laughs> Part of me is thinking Junior is going down. Oh no, almost. Oh, he will after this turn. Nice. Take this! Ether drive. My one fear with going for the full-on break is, uh... <laughs> I won't have enough time to recover my, uh... Like, my boosting in that, so... Mind you, that should only be two hits at this point. Like Cosmos most ceremoniously finish this off and come back. Oh. <laughs> Rodeo Spike 1, I believe, is an all attack. So that's pretty awesome. Voyager. How much longer do you intend to keep doing this? Do you really think this will satisfy your never-ending thirst for power? Answer me! Eric! Now do you think that you really won this? This is Checkmate. 
How long are you planning to play with them? You're taking too long. Return. If she has awakened, then we must devise our next move. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it seems your time is up. You'll pay for what you have done. We will settle this later at a more appropriate time. Farewell for now. Goodbye, young Sauer. <laughs> Are we safe now? Yes, we're safe for now, Momo. But it wouldn't have ended well for us if we had kept on fighting. Xion, it appears that I have caused you undue emotional stress while my functions were suspended. I must apologize. You should. I was really worried about you. I'm so glad you're all right. Cosmos. Xion. Chief? Xion. 